by raising the pigs outdoors, you get them to create a fat cap for you. And so they grow more fat to bear all the weather, which makes a tastier, more amazing pig. Christina wasn't always involved in the pig industry though. By talking to other helpful farmers and just jumping in, she built the know-how on running a successful operation. What was kind of your learning process? You know, I just, I just started researching and using the internet and I just went out on a limb and called other farmers. And some were not inviting and some were. And some farmers we still work with today. Yeah. Um, I feel like you never can grow as a farmer or learn unless you're working with other farmers. I feel like I'm still learning and I'm still, there's still things that come up that I, you know, I don't know. And that's part of the best thing of doing this is that um, it's so stimulating intellectually and physically. The second you stop learning, then you're not doing it right in any profession, but especially this one. I think that it's a surprise that I ended up doing this from where I came from. I, I did come from suburban town. I came from a place called Calabasas. I, I grew up in a little rural area of that town and that was my happiness. I loved that and I wish that I grew up this way. My entire life has been built up to do this. Nobody would have ever paid attention to us if we were always this small. We got pretty big and, uh, and then we lost an investor and we probably could have kept going and trying to get another investor but we decided that it was so stressful being that big and having that many moving parts and having 50 employees that um, for all of our family's sake, we just wanted to minimize. And so now it's just me and my husband and my kids and my brother-in-law and that's it.